and they're off for this uh, group three. Bet Victor, Jeffrey Freer states Ching Shi is going to be switched off towards the back of the field. A rest going forward in the hands of Frankie de Torre out wide of Jack Darcy. And then Klondike towards the inside in third place. Kamari is fourth. They're followed by Luisa Casati, Shandoz and Ching Shi, the back marker, as they race through the first four and a half. And a rest being kept a little wide down the back straight. And probably leads overall with Klondike nearer the rail. Jack Darcy is close up in the blue and white striped jacket, followed by Kamari. Just see how wide Frankie de Torre is charting in these early stages it's a, a policy a, a tactic he's tried several times in the past to good effect seeking better ground not being taken on for the lead not uh, any competition from other horses in the early stages and so a rest looks pretty relaxed followed now by jack darcy on the outside back on the inside klondike and then Kamari, Louisa Casati and Shandoz and Ching Shi as they near the end of the back straight, at which point Frankie de Torre is likely to track across. Here he goes, uh, cutting across now on arrest and leads overall. Arrest by a length and a half to Klondike on the inside of Jack Darcy, a length and a half then back to Kamari, followed by Louisa Casati, Shandoz and Ching Shi. She remains the bat marker in the hands of O'Shea Murphy down the side of the course. And when they swing left handed up the home straight, they'll have uh, the best part of five furlongs to cover. They're just passing the six furlong marker, the three quarter of a mile point from the finish. And it's the favourite arrest that leads the way, a length and a half to Jack Darcy in second place. Back in third is Klondike. Kamari is just behind those in fourth, a couple of lengths away to Luisa Casati as they turn for home. Arrest being a uh, steered towards the center of the course and striding out well as they race on now for, towards the final half mile arrest leads jack darcy being pushed along in second kamari likewise in third and at this point the leader's got them on the stretch a little bit klondike's under pressure louisa casati and then behind those shandos and ching chi but jack darcy is coming back at arrest and there's not much between them it's arrest that still leads however from jack darcy and kamari is turning into a real stamina test here as they run inside the final two and arrest begins to assert again kamari staying on down the outside of jack darcy Ching Shi from the back of the field. Now she goes up into second place and probably closing a bit on arrest as they enter the final furlong. Arrest out in front, three lengths clear of Ching Shi. It's arrest all the way from Ching Shi in second. The rest are well beaten off and arrest coming back to winning ways here under a fine ride. Arrest wins the Jeffrey Freer. Ching Shi in second. Back in third then was Shandos just ahead of Louisa Casati. Test number seven, arrest. Arrest has won the Geoffrey Freer under Frankie de Torre for John and 30 Gosden. Well done, Frankie. You've been able to control the race by the looks of things. Yes, I mean, it's not slow and it's got the beautiful long strides, so I wasn't going to break it and uh, let him gallop on. And uh, he did it all on his own. And uh, he shot Claire at the end. I eased him up at the end, but uh, yeah, good. He had a nice break. And I suspect he'll go for the ledger after this performance. Is that ground quite important to him? Because he's got back on a slightly slower surface at least today, and that's yeah. that's his best performance in Chester. Yes, absolutely. I, I, you know, I wouldn't mind if he'd be even softer. The ground was just just barely good to soft. Right. We know he can handle extremes like he did at Chester, and uh, yes, uh, you know, he's such a big unit. I think he finds the fast ground a bit tough on his joints. So uh, yeah, good to get him back and. Yeah, we'll see what happens now to Gregory on Wednesday, but at least he's got a ticket to go to the ledger. Yeah, and that will be another step up in trip, but he's in the long distance cup as well. And just watching him, he looks a real staying type. Yeah, he's got a beautiful long stride, the Franco's, and uh, yes, that's all he's got, and he keeps that going. And yes, uh, yeah, you said, I mean, he's, he's a perfect candidate for the San Ledger at Doncaster. One to look forward to for the rest of the season. I'm going to put you on the spot very briefly now, Frankie. How many times have you won the Jeffrey Free, do you think? I was told five, including today. Yeah. I only remember one. is Charmer in 1990 for Clive Britton and Lady Viverbrook. I think it was one of my first big wins, so I remember it vividly. And don't remember the other three, but I remember this one now. <laughs> And that, that five makes you the winning most jockey in uh, this race, apparently. Well, you know what that means? That means I'm the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> a, a couple more questions for you, then. Just, you, yeah. you said you won it in 1990. When was your first winner here? Pass. 
1989. A horse called Seymour at 33 to 1, apparently. Jim McGrath from Timeform was telling me a Merrick Francis trend. Pass. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and your first ride was in 88, and you have managed to have a winner here every single year since 1989. So it's been good to hear. Yeah, that's been yeah, good performance. Yes, yeah, obviously I won the lockage a few times. Yeah, it has been a, quite a good place for me. Certainly has. Good one again today. Well done, Frankie. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.